Hi there, welcome to a GTA 5 video with this one. Uh, you could probably tell by the front of the car, I've had a bit of a bump in this. Uh, this is the new Ferrari GT car that uh, pretty much arrived in the, the latest LTS update. And what I'm going to do is pretty much what I've done before, uh, play like, the game offline with Franklin to upgrade it to the maximum. Uh, like I've done before, like I say, I, I mean, you can't see these kind of upgrades, engine, yeah, you can't really see that. Uh, the main thing will be, such as the Xenon Lotus, I always pick that anyway. Uh, the private plate, obviously. Uh, respray, oh, okay, so we've got a primary and a second colour, okay. So if we go, let's go with a metallic uh, first, ah, right, okay. So the primary colour is, what, is it the sides and the back, I think, I can't really get around the back, so, um, we shall go with my typical colours, my MGA Swing Gaming colours that I go with on uh, the game, is the Garnet Red, and uh, we shall go with that for that. Then the secondary colour, which is obviously the strip down the middle there. Um, okay, let's... Should we go for a, a, a brushed gold? Nah, that looks tacky. <laughs> uh, brushed aluminium? Nah, no, nah, no, no. Let's just go with the metallic. Uh, let's see. I think mean, we could probably just go for... A, Oh, excuse me, <laughs> a bit of wind, I had a, a drink of Pepsi Max Cherry, no product placement intended. <laughs> Not being sponsored by them, I just like the drink. Anyway, nothing. Um, right, so you could go for the, the all-in-one. I think, honestly, that's probably what a lot of people do, because when you've got such a contrast, you know, when you've got, like, the sides there, and even, like, the top bits, like the roof, that wouldn't be so bad, but then you've got all this bit at the front. Kind of, like... Yeah, you, you can't really make a good car, you know, with that kind of sort of secondary colour. I mean, I, I can just go through all the colours, and I guess like the ice white frost, well, frost white usually looks good because it's not as dazzling as the ice white. Um, midnight purple is always pretty good. That kind of mixes with a lot of uh, colours. Um, but really, you, you can't, you just can't do it. I'm just going to go with the garnet red. Um, I'm not going to bother with pearlescent or anything. Right, suspension. Pew! Drop that right down to the floor there. Transmission, you can't really see that. Turbo, same thing, can't see that. Because it's all inside. Wheels, now then. Oh, yeah, great. It doesn't put me on that side, when it would have been better on the other side. Stupid game. Uh, wheel type. Um, well, normally it, it kind of takes you to the wheel type automatically. I mean, are you trying to say that these are like it's a high end car? Because I would have thought it was more of a sports car. So let's see what we've got there. Hmm. I would have preferred to have. Like, seeing the car from the other side, so that I could see the wheels better. Uh, ooh, hmm. The GT1. I mean, it's a GT car, so, you know. GT1 wheels. Probably, I think, 
would be the best one, but yeah, it's uh, GT1. There you go, there's a lot of uh, funger. Uh, wheel colour, uh, what do I normally go for? Is it the carbon black? I think it is. Oh, I've got that anyway. Wheel accessories, custom tyres, well, yeah, we want atomic on our tyres. I don't know why, but uh, bulletproof tyres, of course. Um, and we shall have. We'll go for the Patriot tyre smoke, why not? Uh, windows. Um, dark smoke, I think, not too dark. And that's it. So, yeah, you can't really uh, do a lot there with uh, the Lampadati Furore GT. It's, uh, there's no, like, bodywork to be, to be changed or anything. So, uh, so unfortunately, that's it. That's uh, that's all the upgrading you can do. That's the maximum sort of upgrades. So I guess uh, on to the next car. Okay, here we are with the next vehicle, the Shih Tzu Hakuchu, or however you pronounce it. <laughs> I do not know. Uh, okay, so we upgrade the armor to full, the brakes, well, obviously the best brakes, engine, ring, the horn, well, whatever, who, who cares about the horn, really, so, I'll do that there, the plates, as usual, the private plates, and I think we'll have the yellow on black, because, because why not? Oh, now we've got two lots of colour to put on there. Well, the first colour will be... Ooh! Ooh, check that out! Ooh! Do I go with that one? Ooh! Well, we can change it after anyway. It's all, f it's all free, isn't it? Because of... Uh, I mean, this is why I do things with Franklin, because he gets... He gets tricked down. <laughs> I mean, he gets everything done for free. So. Uh, yeah, I think you're probably better if you go with your main colour, and then the secondary is secondary, so just the trim part, so... But don't it look nice? Well, what colour was I going to have that? Um, Pretty tempted with the silver there, that's quite nice. Uh, the problem is, <laughs> for some reason, um, the, the secondary colour also colours the wheels, which I thought would be a separate thing. Um, so what have we got? We've got a few different silvers there. We've got the uh, silver which is basically a light grey. Uh, we've got a bluish silver, which... A bluish silver is always a little bit brighter. It's actually not too bad. Uh, we've got the shadow silver, which is a bit darker, which is kind of okay. Um, let's have a look at it from that angle there. We've got the stone silver, midnight silver, which obviously is dark. Um, got a cast iron silver, which is slightly lighter than the midnight silver. So. Uh, ding -a -ding -a -ding -dong. Wine red seems to be really dark. Uh, gold, I think, probably wouldn't be too bad because it is only the secondary colour and there's not that much of it. Uh, the race yellow. <sighs> Shiny. Racing green, yeah, that one really good. That's kind of the gasoline green, which is kind of like a teal, and I do like a teal. Um, 
Ooh, the midnight blue, that because it's a nice dark streak. Um, kind of like the Saxon blue as well, because it's uh, a, a kind of subtle, it's like a, what you would call a dodger blue, I think. If you, if you go into Google and type in dodger blue, you will probably see what I mean. It's, uh, it's quite nice, if you know what I mean. Uh, oh, hold on, what was that? That was a bleached brown. The midnight purple's always pretty decent, because it's, it's nice and dark. And it's, it doesn't actually look that uh, purple. Now then, ooh, should we go for the ice white? Yes! Nice bright ice white. Nice bright ice white. <laughs> Uh, race transmission, turbo, of course. Now then, wheels. Front wheel. Uh, let's see. Ah, this is better because... Mind you, I say that. Can we really see? Oh well, yeah, because you've got two... F you've got two brake discs at the front of this one, so... I'm not sure it really matters which wheel you have at the front due to the two disc uh, disc brakes um, or brake disc wheels whatever you want to call them so I think I think I'll just go with racing you can't really see it anyway so I'm gonna go with that and for the rear wheel should we go with something different I mean, I could go with Racer, um, but uh, let's see. I've got the Trident, Triple Threat, Stiletto, Wires, Bobber. Now the Bobber, for some reason, is a quite a thicker wheel. Solidus. Ice shields. Uh, excuse me, man. Oh, excuse me, I had to sneeze. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the bobber. Uh, wheel colour, we shall go with. Now. The colour is mostly just the trim on the front wheel. It's the whole of the back wheel, but it's mainly just the trim. Or like the, uh, what do they call it now? Oh, the rim of the front wheel. There we go. Couldn't think of the colour then. Uh, but either way, I'm just going to go with carbon black anyway. So. Because those my colours, man. Uh, ooh, damn. Big white stripe in the back wheel there. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. The bulletproof as usual. And I think, shall we go for the Patriot tire smoke as well? Uh, and that's it. So once again, another vehicle where you haven't really got any body modifications. You've only got, I guess, performance. Really. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, there we go, there's, uh, oh, no, not the phone, that one there, the Shitsu Hakuchu, uh, motorcycle. So there we go. And with that... We shall uh, move on to the next vehicle. So, oh, let's go get it. And finally, for the uh, the vehicles, uh, this is the LCC Innovation, which is more of a kind of. Uh, I guess you could say kind of hot rod type of uh, bike. Uh, yeah, I need to repair it because some douche twat went and smacked into the side of me while I was 
some rod in the bike up here, so there we go, that's repaired that. Obviously it was before I could do that and put the armour upgrade on. Uh, let's do the brakes, engine, lights, got to have the old Xeon lights, and you've just got one colour on this one, okay. It's black. Right, there we go. <laughs> uh, so what... Oh, right. So you can just do one colour, which does the mud guard at the front, the fuel tank, and the little bit at the back there. right -o. Not exactly... Uh, best of options for paint there. We'll just, we'll just go with the usual garnet red. Uh, actually, I think I will go with a pearlescence as well. Uh, let's see, if we, if we go with a silver pearlescence? Yeah, that's what I usually do. It's best to have a contrasting pearlescence, because otherwise you won't be able to see it, basically. <laughs> If you have a, a dark one or even a whatever. So race transmission turbo of course. Wheels. Oh. It appears you can't change the wheels on this one, just wheel accessories. So I think we'll go with the uh, bulletproof tires, obviously. And oh. Uh We'll just go with red tire smoke then. Let's be even more boring. Um, wow. So you have even less options um, when sort of upgrading or modding the uh, the LCC innovation. Not very innovative, is it really? <laughs> uh, so there we go. Um, I mean, it's a, a nice bike and everything, but uh, it's not exactly very, uh, hmm, not very, uh, <laughs> oh, what, I've been signed out to the PSN, never mind. Uh, I think they're doing maintenance or something, so... Anyway, I'm not playing online anyway, this is offline. Which is, I suppose, a good thing, because I would have been kicked offline, wouldn't I, then? So, anyway, there we go. Those are the three vehicles that are uh, available in in the garage. Let me just show you in the map. Uh, for example, in Franklin's garage, which is all the way down there, the Grove Street garage. Uh, that's where you'll find his vehicles. Uh, you go, and obviously you have to press right to access the special vehicles. Um, but as I say, for now, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, join me again for more videos. Uh, please like if you've liked what you've seen. And subscribe for more if you would like to see more. Uh, because I, I will make more GTA 5 videos and GTA Online videos. Uh, and especially with uh, the next gen update. I will be getting probably the Xbox One version, I think. Because I'm not that keen on... Well, I don't know. I mean, I haven't really played a PlayStation 4 yet, so... I don't really know what the controllers like. But anyway, I will most likely go for the Xbox One. Anyway, so, thanks for watching. Join me next time. And for now, goodbye!